Nathan Jeffrey. I am Jeffrey. And, I'm Keith. and the rest of you are really lucky because today Keith's phone is ringing right here as we're beginning. I think it's my phone. phone. I think it's my it's phone. phone. It's your phone. It's my phone. Somebody's got an alarm on there. Welcome, everybody. We're really excited to have you here. You're all very lucky. We have this amazing episode. We've got some fun stuff. It's going to be today. fun today. I think it'll be fun. I'm pretty excited. I think we, uh, we're causing a little bit of mayhem. We're here in the uh, in the Mud Buddy shop today. Um, and we're just, you know, disrupting work. Oh, it's what we do. It's what we do. <laughs> um, so you're in a treat. So as usual, we are going to be answering your questions. Uh, so get those in now. We're going to get to all of those. I've also got lots of sweet swag here today for us to give away um, from our amazing sponsors at Lucky Duck, XL Boats, Tangle Free, BPS. We've got some camo system, heat dryers, uh, deep apparel. We've got all sorts of really great stuff today. So stay tuned some really fun stuff but in the meantime Keith, yes what's been going on not much not much huh? it was a kind of a lazy weekend at home i think i slept more than i did anything kind that's, of that's nice good. and quiet how about you no it was the same i actually i actually got out ice fishing this week yes on saturday i was out on the lake finally um and then there's bob i know it's, we got like i said we're disrupting the shop and in return, they are disrupting our show. <laughs> Just kidding. Way to go, Bob. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Bob. <laughs> hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. <laughs> that was Bob. He's new with us. He hasn't been Bob, here. And that's okay. We don't want to stop Bob from doing his no. work. He works some, it's very important. Good yes. job he's doing. We don't want to stop So now. we were Bob. You're ice fishing. Yes, ice fishing. I was out. Does anybody care to guess how many I, I, that, I, uh, that I picked up? I pulled out of the hole this week. Yeah, big old goose egg. We got but skunked. That's, but that's okay. You were it, having a good time no. with your brother and a buddy? We really did. I went out with my brother and a buddy. We went out, uh, we were on Strawberry, which is uh, down south a ways from us. And there it was crowded. Really, really crowded out there. But it was a pretty nice day. And we were out there forever. And I uh, ate an incredibly large amount of uh, beef jerky and Doritos. <laughs> Oh, it was yeah. a little ill afterwards, but uh, it was actually really fun. I just got a brand new tent. So it was um, your maiden voyage with the brand new Yeah, ice the tent. tent and some other gear, so we were really excited to get out. Did I you just, name that I Blame You Tent? <laughs> that is the one. I know we talked about that. Yes. yes, that Keith was like, hey, this is on sale, and I bought it 10 minutes later. Um, but it was really fun. I really had a blast. But we are actually going to try and get out, I think, in, a, in two weeks on or the so. 19th? Somewhere around then, yeah. We're going to try and get out. Um, that will be a, that's going to be a special episode. Yes. Yeah. So that won't be part of our regular Wednesday. That's going to be later on in the yeah. evening is That'll when we're going to do a special. We're waiting for a call back from our good friend. Our good friend Travis. Travis Absolutely. Yes. He's our fishing expert guide. guide. He's our guide. Yeah. So that's going to be really fun. But I really do love it. It was so it was fun. It was worth it, even though we absolutely got skunked. Oh, I don't like to talk about it too much. It was really upsetting. Um, you but could have been other, just at home. I could have. Sleeping. I could have sat home. Yeah. Instead of eating beef jerky and nacho cheese Doritos to excess. Um, it was really, really excellent. So, here comes Bob. Here comes Bob again. Oh. No, he's not coming in. I just don't want to make sure because he's going to crush one of our guys here as they're trying to. Is there okay, maneuvering so, through there. Right. So, while I'm here, I'm going to pull out this phone here and see, uh, see what we got going on. Um, any shout outs. But uh, how's that? Uh, has it slowed down at all in the uh, office? A with little the... bit, a little bit, and it's it's been nice with our uh, our technician en Enrique helping Mike and I. Yes, you know, getting absolutely. Him, getting him a few calls and, and helping out some of our loyal Mud Buddy customers on the phone. So it's, it's been a little bit, you know, not a big drastic reduction, but there's at least room to breathe now. At least room to breathe. Yes. That's nice. You got to be excited about that. I oh, am. Here we go. I, I am. Okay. You're live on. I'm live. I'm trying to just pull up these questions so we can... Uh, oh, perfect. Okay, here we go. Uh, I got Jeff Fuchs on. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Um, I got a new motor coming soon. Oh, boy. It does. That's excellent. We've been talking Good about that motor you. for a couple weeks. Yeah, we have. That's uh, that's exciting. David Milstrom. Um, I usually talk about my hoodie. Thank you. These hoodies are going to be um, for sale here in just a little while. I can't tell you an absolute date on that, but you will be able to pick these up really soon. This is like a... a like a tester. It's tester. a, what do you call it? Sample. I can't think of the word. Uh, I don't know. Nah, you don't even know. <laughs> it's a new hoodie that my buddy's come up prototype. with. Prototype. That's prototype. the one. There Thank you, Ambry. Prototype. This is a prototype that's sweatshirt. That's why we have Ambry. Yeah, that's why we, we have Ambry. Yeah, I know. Um, I got, uh, oh, sorry. 
We got alarms going off here. Uh, Jackson Hill is on. David Milstrom, I said. Uh, Randy Joe Parrish. David Yeomans. Uh, Chad Chappell. Look at the surface drive. I have some questions. Uh, Chad, he's got some questions. Tell him how to get a hold of you. How to get a hold of me. 801-617-1083. Or you can call the shop number is 801-5... Wait a minute. I lost the number. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. 801-352-8011. You can uh, ask for Enrique or Micah. They can yes. transfer you also. I can't Excellent. believe I did that. I know. That. I know. Liel, I'm from Mississippi. What's going on, buddy? Um, I got Amanda who also Amanda. needs one of these. Yeah, Amanda Barnum. Oh, of course. That's my Amanda. That's your Amanda. That's my oldest. Oh. Yes. Well, you don't get one of those hoodies then. Yes. Her mom has one. <laughs> Tra Travis new Proto. Sorry. Travis is on, everybody. Everybody say hi hey, to Travis. Travis. He will be helping out with questions as well. Yes, prototype. Yes, Pro that is the word. He, <laughs> he knew it. Um, I got Nicholas. Um, Sean, I got Chad, uh, Jared Duncan. Uh, let's see. <laughs> when are you going to give away a couple of those prototypes? As soon as there are more than like four <laughs> yes. in existence. There we might be a couple more than four, but it's coming soon. Excellent. Uh, no, it, I'm blowing up with the hoodies right now. It's uh, I'm like well, a model right here. That's the same hoodie that I had. It is. We You're right. That everybody people were like was like money. Right. Yes. I know. I never did sell it though. I kept it for myself. Awesome. Okay. So. We have got something really fun planned today. That well, it's going to be fun for us. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, is there? Does anything else matter? No, I don't know if it, it really matters. No. Today we are going to talk about props. It's one of the biggest questions that we get um, on this on this forum. Um, it's important. It is very important. Very important. Um, and we've got several different types here, and everybody's asking what's the best best type. And I think we've made our feelings pretty clear on this. The issue, big blade. Right? The big blade. That's big that's blade. our favorite. Prop. We like the big blade. But there are other there are other types oh. for other purposes. Yeah. Right. But we thought it'd be fun today to maybe get involved with some of the uh, some of the guys in our shop today. So I and Keith and Ambry have put together a little bit of a race. A challenge. A challenge, yeah. if you will. So is what we're going to do today is we are going to time some of our guys and how fast they can replace a prop on this motor well, that, right here. That doesn't take that much time. I mean, we've got a, a socket and air impact here. The prop is right here. So how hard could it be? How hard could it be? So I fixed this. You I thought about it. this oh, problem. Oh, you. So I've incorporated, because we're also in the brand new year. Right. A lot of people are making some uh, some resolutions about health, health, about getting healthy. You know, a little bit of exercise. So I have decided to incorporate a little exercise into our <laughs> challenge today i'm glad i don't have to <laughs> me too be incorporated into your me challenge. too okay so let's meet our guys okay let's meet them come this way oh i'm very close to the camera all right <laughs> we have our challengers here today with us so we've got three of them these are the guys who actually know more about our motors these are the guys who actually put your motors together they know more about these motors than just about anybody else so We've got here, we've got Horacio right here. Say hey. Hi. How long have you been here? Uh, been? Six years. Six years with us. Excellent. Are you ready? Yeah. You're good, good. No, thanks so bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get your, get your no. like, stretch on. Yeah, no, sure. No. <laughs> Absolutely. And we've got Justin. Justin actually took Keith and I out. Um, you saw him a little bit when we were out shooting ducks the other day. Justin, how long you been with us? Uh, it'll be a year in May. Um, a year in May. Yeah. You liking it so far? Oh, I love it here. Fantastic. Are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to hear. And then we've got Juan, who, uh, eh, nobody cares. <laughs> Just kidding. How long you been with us, Juan? I'm going for 10 years. 10 years. Juan knows a couple of things. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> he knows some things. All right. So, you guys, is what we are going to do is... You are going to try and be the fastest, right? We're going to time you individually, one at a time. You are going to run, not run, sorry. Sorry. You are going to walk through the shop, through the shop to the end. And you can turn this around. You turn this camera. So they're going to walk to the edge of the shop, out through the paint booth. Then they are going to go through the parking lot. They will then run into the secondary shop, which we've been showing you for a while. Grab their specific prop, which they've got to find, which I have hidden. 
Maybe. I think they went and actually found them. I didn't even hide them that good. <laughs> so you got to find their prop, bring it back, and then install it properly with all of the proper tools and the, uh, the Loctite and all of that other stuff. You've got to have that. Install it. We are going to be timing. The first, uh, the person with the quickest time will win a prize. Okay? Does that sound pretty fun? After they get out of the shop, they can run. Yes, but when you are outside the of the shop, shop, you may jog to your heart's content while you're in your shop. For safety purposes, you must walk. All right. Do we have oxygen on the floor? <laughs> if if I were running, yes, there would be. the young guy, Justin. Do you have, <laughs> do you have your timer? Uh, it's on the motor. All right, get over here and get oh, your timer. Who's going first? All right. Should we take a vote from our viewers? <laughs> no. Um, Who they think will win? Okay, yes, so I want to hear from all of you out there. Who do you think will win? Horacio, Justin, or Juan? For everybody who puts their name down. So I want you to pick somebody, put it in, <laughs> put it in the comments, and everybody who puts that person's name down later on this week, I'm going to have that winner put you all into a hat and draw out a winner from that. So pick your best, pick your winner right now. So that's uh, Horacio. Justin and Juan, they are going to be your contestants today, so go ahead and pick your winner now. Let's go with Juan first. Juan's going Which to go one first. did we have? Juan is getting a, do you remember what it was? Um, big Blade. Big Blade. So oh, the, we're starting off with our favorite. We're going to start out with our favorite right now. Okay, our can I Can I put a wager on this? Yes, you can. I'm going to put five bucks on Juan. You're putting five bucks on Juan. Five bucks on Juan. He's so gonna we have about 15 <laughs> votes for Juan and two for Justin so far. <laughs> okay. All right. That's good. Okay. I'm, I'm actually going for Horacio on this one. Okay. I think he's going to be our guy. Are you going to cover my five bucks? No. I don't have money. Uh, what are you, crazy? Okay. Here we go. Juan, you are up. Are you ready? I am ready. I just got to hit start. Okay. In three. You better walk. Two. One. Walk. <laughs> Super exciting. We needed some little side music. You can probably speed walk a little more than that, but I'm going to go out no, here. She's going to follow. Yes. No, oh, now he can run. Can you see him? I don't know. There he is. He has to crawl through the door. There you go. Oh, we almost tripped. There he is. <laughs> oh, there oh. well, he comes, there he comes, there he comes. Wow, you're flying. Ooh, he's quick. Oh. Now, proper means replacing the anti seeds, too. So it's going to be good and gooey by the time the last guy gets it. Juan's doing pretty good. The young guy here. We're also the Go oldest on. in the building, though. I mean, like, he's been here for longer than these other guys. So well, he should... yeah, he's pretty dang close to the oldest one. Uh-oh. Okay, Juan, you're doing good. You're, you're at a minute 15. Done! A minute 21, 37. That was That's Juan. Not bad. That's, That's pretty Juan. good. Woo! Minute 2137. All right. All right. Who's up next? Okay, I, Justin is up next. Justin's He's up a raptor. Next. Justin, you're getting the raptor blade I'm prop. The hammer. Oh, are oh, you getting the hammer? Sorry, hammer. Okay, sorry, hammer. He's going to do the hammer prop. In three, two, one, go! Walk. You can speed walk. He's got all right. <laughs> He's got some longer legs. He's like, here we go. <laughs> There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Nicely <laughs> done over the edge. And down through the shop he goes. I'm like practicing my sport commentating right here. I know. Around the bend. I didn't know Coming I up on two. Working out. He is over to the uh, thing. That's, what is it, the shelves? I can't get it. Kino, <laughs> he's having a harder time finding his. Apparently, he didn't go look. Oh man, 
It's coming fast. <laughs> kind of messy too. <laughs> Got to put the square in the square there, bro. There you go. Oh, some of them might have that little burr on it. There, there. There we go. It's on. He's got it. Done. Done. What's the time? One forty-two twenty-seven. So one? he's got he's got that one twenty-one. I believe right. was the other. All right, so Juan is in first place. Okay, I'm All right. ready. You ready? Okay. Anybody out there want to cover my $5? <laughs> Actually, I lost it. I ran out there. And I, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm ready when you are. Okay. All right, Horacio, you are next up. You're getting the... Raptor. The Raptor. Got it. Okay, in three, two, one, go! Oh, Daniel's got your five bucks. Oh, he was up there quick. Work my way back. Do it. I told you. I told you. Oh, man. Oh, my Jesus. God. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow, no. One. Oh, get it on, get it on there. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Did you get the address on? Oh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> no. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Oh. Don't cross the red. Jump, jump, jump. Done. <laughs> One nineteen twenty two. We got a winner. Wow. We got man. a winner. I said. Oh, you could have won five bucks. I could have. You could have won, won five, five bucks. bucks. What was I doing? Everybody, thank you. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. You uh, did miss the Loctite, everybody's saying. Yeah. Oh, oh, well. It had enough on there. I know. There was a lot on there. We really Justin, didn't need any more. Justin put didn't. enough on for like five props. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll let the, the anti seas. Uh, yes, and we'll get, we're going to get all of our contestants up and awesome yes. here today. So, um, you guys, that was so fun. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, is everybody a little winded? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I didn't see everybody scramble up, but Justin, you hopped up there like some sort of pole vault. <laughs> well, he's got a little awesome. bit of a height to leg it, man. Like, yeah, you're right. No, he's he totally is. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. Thank you, guys. Yes, really appreciate guys. it. Appreciate it. That was fun. Uh, you may continue working now. Now you get out of here. Hi, guys. Back to work. <laughs> awesome. That made me tired of watching. I, yeah. <laughs> See, now, I, I would have been a little cheater on the three blade if it would have been me because I knew that there was a three blade sitting on the I bench over here. Over there and I would have went out around the paint shop, came back in, grabbed that one and stuck it on. One, because it's already been fitted once and it's ready to go and would have been easier. Yes, I know. I know. Because I would have been I winded. Called, I would have called you on it, though. No cheating around here. Um. Awesome. So that's about it. So let's take um any other questions that we have and give some stuff away. And uh, oh yeah, let's give hey. some stuff away. I gotta get over here. Let's just give some stuff away in a hurry. I know. Yeah. Let's let's do it. Okay. Let's see. Who did we? Okay. What are we gonna go with first? Um. Let's go with. Um, yeah, the peat dryer, David Milstrom, who was on early, he was on right at the beginning. David, I got a peat dryer and a hat for you. There is a link at the top of the, uh, at the post. Go ahead and click that, fill out that information. David Miller, that is for you. Milstrom, sorry, Millerstrom. Milland, I can read, I promise. Um, Jeff, let's get something for Jeff too. He was on right quick. He needs something for his new motor. He has the new Tangle Free Duck Strap. Can I give one away? Ooh, yes. To Randy Joe Parrish because he said he liked and shared. Oh, Randy Joe Parrish because he liked and shared. How about, You're you, the man. Should we let him pick? We've got the Lucky Duck 
tumbler. We've got a tangle free hat. We've got a Sitka hat. We've got the, well, the shirt is a, oh, it's an extra large Echo Call, Echo call shirt. Really nice shirt and even better calls. So how about you pick what you want there, Randy, bro? Randy, Joe. Randy, what do you want? Um, okay, so also, I do have a question. Um, Casey Brady is on. Casey, you the man. We really appreciate you. He says, hey guys, I have a question. What RPM should I be seeing at idle and full throttle on an HD 6000? So I, I, at, I full throttle and at idle. What at you? idle, you want to be around 1,000, no more at, than 1,200. At idle. At idle. Yes. Um, RPM wise, you're going to be up in the 43, 4,400 RPM range. At full throttle. At full throttle. Okay. Maybe that's, a little that's bit good more. To know. It just depends. Good. Really good. Um, okay, let's Has see. Has Randy picked his gift yet? Nope, I have not seen him pick his gift yet. Or Randy, are you still on? Actually, Randy, I'm not sure. He actually wrote lied and shared. Lied and shared. <laughs> <laughs> a little typo there. So, that makes me laugh. <laughs> he lied and shared. So maybe we ought to pick it for Randy. So he we did can... say couplers, but I don't know if he meant. Um, oh, yeah, maybe the cup or something like that. Yeah, um, Logan Thomas, uh, please clarify what you put on the prop shack before putting the prop on. We, Teddy gets a good question. We put a little bit of Loctite LB8150 anti-seize. Yes. And you want to put this on every time you take your prop off and every put time. it back on. Yes. It just helps where it doesn't get a little bit of corrosion and stick. But don't be afraid, too, if it doesn't pull right off. You can take a brass hammer or a rubber hammer. Just give it a tap on the back of the prop. It'll pop off. Yes. It's not going to hurt it. Mainly... If you've already, if you're replacing the prop, you probably already damaged it or wore it out, so don't worry too much about <laughs> how you get it off. Right. I mean, but you don't want to take a big steel hammer. No, or brass. You don't want to be better. Yeah. Pressure, and most but... of the time, they'll come off. Long tails, different story. Those you're gonna need to hit. A little yeah, bit. those take a lot of work. Those. But are not I mean, my but favorites. you saw as these guys were putting those props on that it. I mean, it took. They needed like a rubber hammer would have been real nice to just yes. just pop that on. Would have been nice. Um, Todd Anderson, what's the perfect size motor for a 14 by 36 John boat? 1436 oh, is probably going to be a long tail. I would think just so. Just because of weight. Um, I would say... Because you can um, also look at a mini though too. Yeah, mini's still fairly heavy though. I, I would say a long tail. Um, 23, um, either short or tall depending on the transom of his, of his boat would be a good one. Yeah. Uh, and great, reliable. I mean, we, yeah. we run with Dave, and oh, yeah. it's not a speed oh, man, weapon, I, but you know what? He gets there. He gets anywhere and everywhere. Right. That's, it's a really great yes. motor. I really like it. So has our friend picked the, Oh, he wants a cup? All right. And that was Randy. Randy, Joe. Randy, you are the Lucky Duck Tumblr winner. And now we can go on with the rest of our giveaways. Uh -huh. <laughs> which, uh, how about the... Uh, yeah. The seven, the, the, the gentleman with the six thousand. Who was that? Oh, that's a that's Casey. Casey. Um, yeah, sure. How about hey, Casey? Uh, let's do Casey the uh, the Sitka. Yeah, the, the Sitka the hat. Sitka hat for Casey? Unless he's got one, in which case Casey got me. I mean, we yeah. Give it. The, um, let's see. Well, let's see. We've still got four more giveaways. I do, I do, Somebody I do. Somebody said just... that they wear an extra large shirt and would love the Echo Call shirt. Who said or that? Do we want to give it to him? Yeah, Zachary, who said it? I don't know how to say his last name. Kalik? Zachary Kalik? Zachary Kalik. Kalsik, probably. Kalsik. Kalsik. Okay. I wear an XL. You got it, hey, Zachary. It's yours. From our good friend <laughs> Rick right. Gunn and the boys at Echo Calls. Make sure you go check out their website. They've got amazing yes. products. And they really that we do. Use. And and there he was just on Rick Dunn, the owner of Echo Calls, just did a video for us just a little bit ago talking about corks in the in his duck yes. call. Really awesome video. If you haven't seen it, uh, it's on. I scroll down this Facebook page. It's it's on there. It's really brilliant video. He's he's so he's, smart. Like he knows more about it than anybody else. And he's also the nicest guy I've yeah, ever. Yeah, very nice to. guy. And if you want to see him too, you can always pick up a Mallard of Madness because. That's the Echo Boys. Absolutely. With Freddie I have, I know so, who needs that. Is that uh, Josh Trim asking best prop for a whole shot and load. He's got a 4,400 EFI. I would say big blade. Really? Yeah. For a whole Even shot a whole with a shot? big load? Yeah. With a big load. With I guess you're right. Load, yeah. He's got that big load. Because if, if you're not, if no. you're not carrying a big load, that Raptor blade might would, would be, good. Might be yes. really good. Yeah. Um, so the, the, the Mallard Madness is gone. 
Yes. Okay. So, uh, Josh, Trim, that is for you. Click the link at the top of the post, fill out your info, and we'll get that sent off to you. And remember, like and share. I can say it now. Jeffrey gave me permission. <laughs> I don't have to whisper. Jeffrey. <laughs> okay. I, I Oh, man. We've got, we've got lots on here. Lane Hall, when's y'all trip to Arkansas? I hope y'all bring some ducks. You ain't, you ain't got no ducks in Arkansas? Lane, don't tell me that, okay? <laughs> I really don't want to hear any reports B on BYOD. Arkansas. Wherever bring you go you this year, BYOD. Yeah, seriously. We're going to bring them with us. Um, John Kelly, how do you know when your prop is wore out? Your speed decreases and your RPM goes up or just won't push the boat. Right. You can also measure, like on the, the hammer here, just measure the two points, the furthest apart. And then inside of all of our props, it also tells you what the size is. If it's three quarters of an inch or an inch smaller than what it says inside the prop here inside the hub, it's time to replace it. Right. But the, an easy indication when you get a new prop is run it, watch your RPMs. And as your RPMs increase and your speeds slow down, that's a really good indication for a wore out propeller. Yes. Very nicely put. Um, okay, David Milstrom, will the 5000 EFI turn a hammer? Yes. Yes, it will. Um, which prop would be... Okay, Frank Williams, which prop would be good for slushy mud? Slushy mud? I'm, I'm going to go... Yeah, old you're... reliable. Yeah, old reliable. Your big blades is going to power you through all of that. It's going to be really... And a lot depends on the motor. If you've got a big, high-performance motor, a hammer will work good, too, yeah. in the mud. But you've got to have more power to, uh, to to turn that thing. Sure. You know, If you're running a 35 or a 37 or a 40, you probably don't want to try spinning the big blade. Uh -huh. I mean, you want to spin the big blade. You, you don't want to spin the hammer. You don't want to spin the hammer, yeah. exactly. And, and two blades work really good in the mud and getting you up on, up on step really fast with heavy loads. Sure. You know, if you're running here... We're going to be going from duck hunting to fishing, so you can actually go to a three blade and get a little more speed. Yes. And get to the hole a little bit faster because you're you're going to be running lighter loads because you won't. The have guys it. that I fish with yeah. don't carry as much fishing gear. No, absolutely. As they do duck gear. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. You're not having like two bags of decoys and <laughs> a dog and three linebackers. Yes, all with exactly. You. Which is what I'm excited. I'm excited to get uh, to get a really good. Blade on the uh, on the salty for a fishing for season. fishing season. Oh, so we yeah. get a little bit faster. Yes. Um, Aaron St. Clair, what setup would be best for a fourteen forty eight Grizzly Tracker? I'm thinking probably that long that tail. long tail again. Well, you might be able to get into a mini. It's a little bit wider than the thirty six, so it'll fit a little bit better. Um, yeah. Yeah. Long tail would be a good one. Mm, yeah. Long tails are great for small lightweight boats yes. they really are i don't know and i'm just always prone to that mini anyway though yes, i really mini, i've always loved it's, a, that it's mini. a great mini yeah. it's a great motor um rick hillicoss hey rick how's it going um oh randy joe Paris, where do i send my info randy there is a link at the top you scroll to the top of this post there's a link there that you can click and you'll fill out your information there uh we got two more hot items. Chad, y'all answered my question about motor size. What about salt water? Or just, uh, I'm guessing just in, using these motors in salt water. Uh, whatever he's got or whatever we told him to use will be fine. Um, just make sure with salt water that you really keep it clean because salt water. Yes. Um, it's not a friend. It just corrodes everything. Here in Utah with the Great Salt Lake, everybody thinks that's so cool. But that lake is three times saltier than the ocean. Yeah. So it really, really, really it will it will re it will mess with your stuff. Yeah. It'll it'll mess up your stuff. So yeah. So clean. clean. I mean, but even no matter what you're doing, like your guns, your like every piece of equipment you have that you take out onto that lake has got to be clean. Yes. Guns, waders, shell, everything. It's just. Um, Logan Chinaman, 40 EFI, which prop is best, two blade or three blade? I'm going to tell you the two blade because we love that. We love the big blade. If you're pushing big loads, and heavy loads and lots of people, the big blade's a better way to go. If you're running light loads, two guys, a small little spread of decoys, a three blade will work good for you. 
But if you're running well, like most duck hunters that I know and that we've seen at the ramp, yeah, they're just a little overloaded. So, smidge, smidge, yes, like hundreds of pounds, like a few hundred pounds. <laughs> um, why won't it go down past 30 degrees in Louisiana? I'm gonna get on that. I'm sure you can answer that. You know I, everything, don't you? Come you on, know, Keith. unfortunately, we rely on Mother Nature, and this year she's not cooperating at all. She's really not, not cooperating. The, the guys in the south are, if the if it's warm down there, it's still warm up north. And the ducks, if they've got food and water where they're at and nothing's freezing up north, yeah, they're not going to move. No. I wouldn't either, you know, so. No, but do you know who you should really go and like really talk to and maybe maybe yell at, complain to? Do you know who really is good at, is Freddie. Freddie. <laughs> Go go log on to Freddie's post and just yell at him for it. He yeah. really appreciates it. Yes. I think that's a good plan. Freddie, you're welcome. Go, go talk to our friend Freddie. Yes, he has the answers yeah. for sure on this. We wish we could get the temperature too. Everything around here, though, unfortunately, we're locked up pretty tight. So uh, unless you've got a little honey hole that stays open with some spring water. Yeah, we're pretty yeah, close. We're pretty uh, close to, to iced over now. Yes, it is. It's, it's rough. Um, John Horsley, do those uh, props cut through weeds pretty good? Yes. Yes. John, Tangle Free. Yeah, John, Tangle Free, yeah, right our there. Friends, our friends at Tangle Free. I love their stuff. I, I, I'm on their, I don't want to say I'm on their website every day, <laughs> but it's probably at least two <laughs> or three least, times a week. At least a few times always a week. Always checking out their products and seeing what they're coming out with because they're always, they're always on the cutting edge of the next thing. Oh, yeah. And, they, and the, the cool thing about it, watching some of the videos, is they really like to listen to the people who buy their stuff. Yeah. And they take yes. their recommendations on that kind of stuff. So really our friends at great. Tangle Free, great people. All of our all of our sponsors yes. are amazing. And I'm not gonna read them all off because the paper's not here. And I'm not gonna remember <laughs> them all. Oh, hey, here it is. Echo Calls, Tangle Free, Lucky Duck, XL Boats, and Pete Dryers. Thank you guys. Go check these guys' website out. Because without them, we're not giving away cool swag. That is absolutely true. And while you're at it, give us a like, give us a share. We also definitely always want to hear from you. Um, any suggestions, of, uh, questions that you may have, or things that you would like to see, um, we love to hear yes. suggestions. Yes. You know, we've got we've got a few more episodes to go and more seasons to come. So we love. Uh, just drop a comment down in what you want to see. We love we love it. Uh, Mark Davis, how often would you suggest adjusting valves on the fifty five hundred? I would say your first initial one's at 20 hours, and then every 50 hours after that, you'd be all right. 20 hours, and then every, every, 50, every 50 hours. Yeah. Yes. Uh, James Stevens, will weeds wrap around the prop? You know, we've, depending on how thick your vegetation is, we've had it happen a few yes. times, um, but that's in really, really thick stuff. It's something you really just ha kind of have to keep an eye on, really, so, uh, occasionally if you're out walking around. They will we, motor through it pretty good, so you most know. Most of the time, I yes. mean, we've we've had pretty good luck. We all, you know, once once in a while, we'll we'll hop out and grab a handful of that, clear that. But other than that, really, really excellent. Okay, so uh, everybody, be really nice to Travis. He's been answering some questions for us while we're while we've been talking. Yes, so Tra Travis so is he's a great a, guy. You know, he's he knows. Um, what is the best prop for reverse? That's there, a good question. Reverse, just, it depends on what, you know, if you're in mud, I'm going to say the two blade. If you're in yeah. deeper water, the three blade, yeah. you know, just don't over reverse it and, and put a lot of water up on the back of your boat or into the back of your boat. So be careful. You know, it's one of those things. So we've got one more little gift and this was controversy a while ago. Is yes. it cozy or koozy? <laughs> I never so, think we even got an answer no, on I that. No, I don't. I don't. Koozie is what koozie. it is. It koozie really is, is a koozie. It so it's we, koozie. Andrew over there Andrew, says. He and, said. Andrew was with us a while ago. <laughs> Pumpkin carving guy, right? Yes. Thanksgiving Yes, time. he was with us on our for our Halloween challenge. Yes. yes. So we have that a koozie. koozie. We have a koozie to give away. Yes. So who's the lucky winner of our koozie? Right now, you don't need a koozie because okay. it's so cold I outside. I do. Your Ni beverage. Nicholas Sellers. Nicholas. We'll be giving that to you. Nicholas is the camo XL hat like Jeffrey's me on the website it is but not on the mud buddies website it's actually on the xl boats store their online store that's where they've got it um so if you go to that website and then go to the store it's on there you can get it yes. i love this there hat. i have one oh too. i love this hat there, nice hat. Um, so nicholas click the link up above that koozie koozie is yours what well, the other controversy we had that we figured out was weijin as or in region we or widgeon as in pigeon right and it is 
Widgeon, Widgeon, as in pigeon. That was the the popular vote. I mean, there. Yes, that was that was what we we got. Glade helped us out with that. Glade one. helped us out. That was. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, well, I've got so many here, you guys. We're gonna have to get to some of these a little bit later. Um, yes, we will answer the you guys, questions uh, later. You guys are all so great, and I just want to get to all of your questions. Um, but when we do all these little challenges first, we don't. We kind of yes, run out of time. We kind of run out of time. Um, so I am going to Koozie, Nicholas Amerson Koozie. Yes, you are right. Oh, Gary Dollar. Um, can I get a forward reverse kit for 31 horsepower, direct drive, Mud Buddy, practically 2004? You're going to need to do some pretty big changes. Give me yeah. a call, 801 Six one seven one zero eight three. I will be glad to. Uh, <laughs> I laugh every time. Yeah. I'll be glad to answer some of those questions for you because it, it's gonna be it's gonna be expensive. That's that's for sure. Yeah, that would be that, with that, that would old be kind of, of a an motor. In, yeah. intense change there. Yes. Hunter Caves, can you purchase an aftermarket upgrade driver dry box seat from you guys? Um, XL Boats. That's gonna be probably your best bet there. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if one's listed on the store, but I know that that's a possibility. So uh, either send them an email or give them a call. That'll be, I believe it's just info at XL Boats will probably be your best. I, I don't know that one. I, I have no clue. Really. I don't either, but uh, XL Boats will be your best. If you don't have any success, ask Keith and we'll, we'll, we'll send that around and get yeah, that. We we'll get, get, we'll you, get you on there. But that is absolutely a possibility that you can absolutely get a new seat for that. In fact, just like our boat, we've got that... Um, Orca cooler, Orca cooler as yes. our as our seat there, which it's is multi really awesome. <laughs> oh, it sure is. It, it held all of our uh, elk meat and all of our supplies when we went out and did tacos on the marsh, which was amazing. The best day ever. Good food and fun. There was a lot of interesting things happened on that day, but we won't go into too much. No, no, we really won't. But um, we're gonna end. <laughs> we're gonna end it here. Um, I do want to say thank you one more time to all of our incredible sponsors. Please do like and share and drop us any comments. Let us know uh, what you want to see next week. Um, I am looking forward to next week. We do have some really fun, if we can pull it off. We've got a little bit of work to do well, to get yes. that ready, but it is going to be a really, really fun episode next week. Um, that's going to be at the same time next Wednesday, 3 o'clock, Mountain Standard Time, right here. Um, we're, gonna, we're actually going to be around this area, I'm pretty sure, next week. Um, yes, uh, it will be exciting. Yes. We've got some work to do, but I know we can pull it off. Yes, we're, we're going to pull it off somehow. We're going to somehow. Where there's a will, there's a way. Yes. <laughs> that's what I said. And that's also why we have an yeah, Amber. Awesome. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Join us next week right here on The Shallow Water.